How are you, everybody? This is Mitch from Mitch Bay Sales. I'm really happy to see everybody here again. I have nine total subscribers now, so I'm doing great. I got an email yesterday from Mary. Mary's asking me, Mitch, I saw your video about how to post items. I'm going to open my store, but I have women's clothes and some kitchen stuff I want to sell. I have a lot of women's clothes, though. Can you please do a video about how to post and critique some posts you see online on eBay so I can do a better posting job when I post? <laughs> of course. I'm humbled to even have that question come to me. I only have nine subscribers and I already got a great question. I'm very happy, Mary. Of course I'll help. So I go to the eBay.com. I go to fashion, of course. There's fashion for us, right? And then what I do, I kind of scroll first to see what I'm looking at. If I can't find what I want, so Mary said dresses. Remember that? She said dresses. So go up here, right? Go up and type in women's dresses. And probably pre-owned might be a good one too. There we go. Women's dresses pre-owned. You see that? And you go right into there, okay? And now, Mary, here we are. So it doesn't matter the style. We're looking at the type of photo that's taken first and what kind of background we have. And we see the first four shots are really great. They're showing you the good background there. Now, this must be expensive. The Chloe Women's Accordion Pleat. Interesting. It's pre-owned, but it still comes out at $179. I'm just a stupid guy, so I have no idea what Chloe Women's is, you know, but it must fetch a pretty good dollar, right? <laughs> okay. So here we go. I see an error here already with the second one here. I cannot discern, I cannot tell how long this dress is. It says women's floral summer dress size eight. Okay, that's fine, but I wanna see how long it is, okay? So the first photo doesn't tell me that, okay? This is a good shot here. She's showing you the color pattern here of the, of the, of the dress, that's good there. It's got Nicole, which is a brand name, I guess, which is really great. Again, I'm a stupid guy, I got no idea what that is for the brand naming, but the length. There's no length there. I can't tell from the photo of the length here, right? <clears throat> so that could be a problem for her because someone's going to ask her probably, hey, what's the length? I would have had a tape measure here for sure to show that. You know, that's what I, I would have done. But that's the deal there, okay? Let's keep going over here now. Let's go down a little further here. Um, I see some good ones here. These are good. These are good. Good, po good pictures here. Great pictures here, too. Nothing's bad so far. Um, no, these are looking good. These people here are selling some really good products using some really good backgrounds. Now, she put hers on the bed. But see, it's still okay, you guys. It's still okay. Why? Because look at her background. Her background is perfect. This is a really good background. They're doing this is some really good displays here. I like what I see as far as the product and the background. Mary, if you have... Um, you want to hang out your door like this you can do that too it's fine <clears throat> it's not a big deal and it's fine okay i like this shots here really looking good though i'm, I'm very impressed so uh mary just take this to, no this here this here i know this is your ebay white background so this means that maybe she puts this on her bed right maybe her covers were orange or red right but there's an app within the ebay program where you can touch it it'll have you whiten out the background or make the background white and that's what this person did i know this already that's what she did you can tell same thing here and i don't laugh to say the picture is bad because i use the white background all the time i just know what it looks like when i see it and it really makes the what you're selling pop out right it looks really great so this is good let's go to page two okay for these dresses here and again, now, Mary, if you notice, and everybody else too, but Mary, you notice that they put, if it's a brand name, right? Tahari, you got J. Crew, Zara, Leo, Leona, because people tend to know what they're looking for, right? If I'm a woman, I want to buy a Tahari dress, I would type in Tahari dress, and I'm sure this one here will come up somewhere, of course, right? And so that's how you do it. Same thing with J. Crew. J. Crew is very popular. So with J. Crew, she's getting really detailed. Look. J. Crew dresses women's four size four. flat textured eyelet jacquard, even the C922. This is some really serious <laughs> explaining the product, which I think is very smart, no problem at all. This should have had the Cole Miller here. 
should have had a white background or a different background. The background's not that great because you want your product to pop out, okay? Um, so that's not so bad, I guess, you know, she could have done a little better. Again, here you see the eBay white background. I know that's what that is. This here too, you see the eBay white background. It works out really well. Um, this one here, this lady, this person here's got a mannequin. Look at that. They have a mannequin they're using. Pretty impressive there, okay? So Mary, you can see it here. Hang up your product if you, if you, if you can. If you can't, put it on the bed. Uh, use the eBay app to make the whiteout if you need it. And put as much detail as you can in the product and you guys should be fine. Okay, Mary said too she has some skillets she wants to sell too. So skillets, pre-owned, right? Let's take a look at some skillets that are pre-owned. I don't sell skillets, so we got to look at this. Skillets, we'll say uh, we'll say cooking pot. No, that's right. We got to get out of here first. So I did something wrong. See here, I'm typing skillets, but I'm still in the women's clothing. That's not cool. So get over here, right? You want to go down? This is kind of great. We're doing things together. I like this a lot. This is great. Maybe home and garden, right? Let's go into home and garden, okay? There we go. Now let's try some cooking skillets. Cooking skillet. There we go. There we are. Okay. Well, now we want to do, we want to do pre-owned, correct? Because Mary has pre-owned skillets. Here we go. Pre-owned. Here we are. Okay. Mary, this isn't, this background's not too bad. You know what? This background's kind of nice because it looks like a kitchen. You know, they're in a kitchen somewhere. So it kind of fits the background. Now, you guys, here's the deal with skillets and cooking things, right? If you're going to sell these things, which is fine, um, look at the shipping. So you're going to ask the buyer to pay this much for shipping, which is fine too, you guys. Um, about 80% of my stuff I, I, I sell, the buyer pays for shipping too. And I understand this. This is fine. But just be aware, sometimes your shipping costs will cost more than the actual product, okay? But again, look, if you know what you want, whether you're on eBay or Amazon, right? And you don't mind paying for shipping because you want it, and you're going to buy it, of course. And obviously, this lady here, Brenda, has over 1,154 sales and a 100% rating. That is amazing rating for over 1,000 sales. She should be doing this video and not me. <laughs> that's impressive. Oh my gosh, that's really good. <laughs> that's great. That's a great rating for her. And, uh, oh, at this point too, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit like. I would really appreciate that. That's amazing, really. Okay, here we go. Cooking with Kefalon 10-inch lid nonstick. Okay, you guys see see the description. You want to describe as much as you can in this header here. Okay, you have a header. And then you have a description page as well, okay? But a lot of times, folks won't even get into the description page if they're not caught, if you don't catch their eye with that first photo. This should have been a white background. This is not a good way to show this, this uh, product off because you just it just misses so much without that white or light background, you understand? So they would I, I, I would tell them, hey, look, you should have a light background if I could tell them how to post this again okay susan's has sold 46 items and she's got a 97.4 percent rating that's more like my area you know because you can't please them all you can try but you just can't all right this is a new listing platinum professional cooking system titanium t304 stainless large so she's showing you everything or he's showing you everything here in the front for 119 bucks Plus, you got a $25 shipping fee, okay? So that's the fee you're going to charge people to ship to their, their homes, you know? <clears throat> so here, again, when you're shipping skillets, these are iron and metal, titanium, whatever, right? So it's going to be a kind of a weird phenomenon for you, but your shipping cost is typically going to cost more than the actual product cost. Look at this, Mero, aluminum nonstick. It costs $7.59, but it costs a ship, right, to buy $17.52. So, again, guys, when you're buying the heavier items, you're going to be charging people, if you want, uh, a shipping cost, okay? The photos, uh, that's okay, I guess. Maybe a little more white would be better, of course. Um, it's not so bad, I guess. Let's look down here. 
This isn't so bad because it looks like a kitchen background. That's a pretty smart way to do it. But look again, the cost is almost as much as the shipping. <laughs> See that? <laughs> it's kind of crazy, right? This was a good idea to put the, the, the yard stick across there. So now you know how long this pan really is, correct? Also to look, shipping again costs more than the actual product. And don't worry about that, guys, okay? Don't worry about the, the shipping because if you're gonna shop for a pan, you know you're gonna spend some money. And again, the background here, eh, that should have been something else. That's not a good background. But you see again, we keep on going down here. This is, okay, this is your typical eBay whitening program that's within the eBay app. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I use that in a video later on. But this is good because it makes this product pop out like, bam, here we are, right? <laughs> you can't miss it, you know? Great description. Members mark 12 inches. Great descriptions here. I see this really going on great. That should have been a white background, I think, to make it pop out more. This is your typical eBay whitening program here again. See all white in the background. But I hope they got more photos, though. Let's look at more photos here, guys. Yes, this is good. This is These are all easy eBay whitening background program. Very good. Very, very good. You can see this is a good one here, okay? They're, they're really trying to, they're, they're off to make some profit because they're, they're beautiful pictures. Great pictures there, okay? This isn't bad. I know it's not white background, but it's not bad. You can see everything pretty pretty well. It's not so bad at all. Um, so that's how you guys want to do it. When you have your products there, think about contrasting, right? Whatever color your product is, you want to contrast the background. When it comes to heavy items, you're going to be charging your buyer some money for shipping because if you pay for shipping uh, plus your item, you're going to be in negative. You're going to be in the in in the red. Uh, you want to be in the black when it comes to selling. You want to make money, right? You can't make money by being in the red, of course, right? So remember that. And don't feel bad about that if you got to charge some shipping fees because you don't want to get hit with that shipping fee on your on your own like this. If you had this thing here, all clad, stainless steel, 12 and a half inch, $51 to ship. So if you sold this for 49 bucks, you said, okay, I'll do the shipping myself. You are, my friend, are at a negative $2 for this product you sold something for a negative so unlike the dresses that mary was talking about dresses you know maybe weigh you know maybe cost six seven eight dollars to ship so sometimes if a dress is a good brand name high value dress you can definitely get your money back where you can pay the shipping as well but stuff that's heavy like skillets and pots and pans and stuff like that always be ready to have the buyer pay for shipping do not take that up on your own okay I want you to make sure that they pay for shipping because if they want it, they're going to want it, right? There we go. At this point here, guys, I want to tell you thank you for watching the video. I hope I helped you, Mary, and I hope that helped out everybody else too. I'm really just trying to help people out. I'm trying to help out my fellow senior citizens to get into the eBay game because it's a fun thing to do. I've enjoyed it for six years. Yes, I have a professional career too, but I enjoy this so much and I want you to enjoy it as well. If you have any questions, MitchBaySells at gmail.com. Please leave me a comment and tell me what state you're watching this from, okay? Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.